Hey there, I'm Bill Wallace, and welcome to this week's episode of Questions. Uh, this week I wanted to focus on perhaps the greatest question to actually come out of the Bible, the, the question that Jesus asks of some of his followers, well, who do you say that I am? I heard that question asked again this week, some uh, reflection on it, and it's such a great question because it's still asked today. People are, are still asked, who do you say that Jesus is? And the response is, is always so varied. He's a, a great teacher. Uh, he's a leader. Uh, he is what the church should be. Uh, he's what Christians should be. I mean, there's great answers to that. But the answer that's given in the Bible is, is actually the, the best one of all, of course, because it's true. It's that you are the Messiah, the Christ, the Savior of the world. And because that's true, because Jesus claims that and says, yes, that is exactly who I am, then the next question that comes out of that is even more challenging and more profound uh, for me individually. Because if the question is, well, Jesus, you know, who are you? Then he flips it around. Well, well then who are you? If I am the Messiah, if I'm the Savior of the world, then, then who does Jesus say that I am? And his answer is that I'm someone worth saving. For all of my faults and for all of my flaws, for all of the mistakes that I make every single day, I'm still someone worth saving. I'm still someone that Jesus loves and wants to forgive and wants to, to have in heaven with him forever. And that's true not just for me, but again, because he's the savior of the world, it's true for all of us. In a hard week, a week where we have seen again the, the brokenness and the sadness and the challenge in the world all around us. Know that because Jesus answers the, the, the question, yeah, who do people say that I am with this true statement that he's the savior of the world, that there's another true statement that's meant for you. That you, yes you, are someone that he loves, someone that he forgives, and someone that he believes is always, always worth saving. Hope that's a message that uh, you needed to hear this week. I know I sure did. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for watching.